This is an oil holding tank, Callum. Well, we're good corporate citizens, see? We drain all the oil out of all of these wrecks and we keep it in here till a man comes along to recycle it. We wouldn't want the planet to heat up, would we? Wait, 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 wait. Have you remembered something? I've told you everything I know, I swear. Please, please. Have a nice swim, kid. What is the international VHF emergency frequency? 125.1. Uh, it's 121.5 megahertz. All right, give me another one. Okay. Uh, when should the pilot activate the transponder ident? Before every change of attitude. Uh, only after receiving confirmation from air traffic control. Are you sure you're ready to fly solo? Watch me. Nice work. If I give my arms off, I can go solo by the end of the year. You're an optimist. Like father, like son. You'll have to fly every weekend. Really commit to this. Well, I can give up soccer. No dropping homework. All right, deal. <laughs> Harvey, it's the weekend. Remember weekends? Yeah. Ireland, when? An Irish Australian ancestry congress? Family trees, ancient bloodlines, lost relatives. <laughs> they still my beating heart. Why does Harvey want you to cover it? Begora woman, it's because of me Irish blood. <laughs> You're only half Irish, the crazy half. The Armands are not crazy. <laughs> what about the Orman singularity? That's a myth. Nobody believes that anymore. Uncle However, Ah. <sighs> Sorry, Tom, I didn't realize you were home. Is that it? Helleborus Niger, the Christmas rose. I was looking at these at the nursery. I ran into Rafe and he said he had some. Lucky you. Oh, it's very kind. Now that you're here, would you like to stay? There's plenty. Sure. Thanks, I, I have to be somewhere. Oh, next time. Bye. For heaven's sake, Tom, he's your brother. Yeah. I'll only be gone a week. It's my job, Cal. It's important. What, and I'm not? You know that's not true. I really want to see you up there. I'll be back before you know it, I promise. The O'Farrell family, traced to the kings of Ireland. I don't know why you bother with all this. We're bog Irish. There's no royals in our family. And that conclusion would be based on what? Months of research, days on genealogical sites. Don't try to be clever, Kelvin. It doesn't suit you. Do something useful and book me a place at the Genealogy Congress. And a flight to Dublin, first class. It's the past that makes us what we are. People forget that. That's why history keeps repeating itself. Because nobody was listening the first time. <laughs> <laughs> now, are there any questions? Professor Grinsley, Tom Ormond, Australian journalist. Ormond, did you say? Now there's a family with history. Cryptic codes, riddles, a hidden fortune dating back to Elizabethan times, and at the heart of it, a mysterious bequest called the Ormond Singularity. Are you aware of it, Mr. Ormond? Uh, it's just an old family myth. No, the singularity is not a myth, sir. It's a historical fact. Now, what was your question? Miss school holidays, sir. It'd be great when you're better. We can get up in the air again, Dad. Turning the flight manual really hard. 
I was thinking when you get better, I can go and get my license. I was thinking I might become a commercial pilot. What do you reckon, Dad? Free flights for you and Mum? Why can't he speak? The virus, if that's what this is, has attacked his language centre. The neural connections are scrambled. How long do we have? It's hard to say. Who is it? Me. I don't understand. What are you trying to say? <gasps> I'm sorry. Treasure hunt's over. Perhaps not. He has a son. Callum Ormond. The next in line. No, sweetheart. We all feel that way. Your dad was a wonderful man. I won't forget him. Cal. Cal. The almond singularity. Don't let it kill you too. Hi. Who are you? He killed your father. Good man. Loved you. You knew my father. You knew the secret. Who are you? December 31st. Midnight. Stay alive until then. They'll kill you like hey. they killed Tom. What do you want about? The singularity runs out. December 31st. 
365 hey, days. Come on. Stay alive until then. It's going to be all right. Just come with us. He'll kill you like he killed your father. Who killed my father? Hey, who killed my father? Cow! What was that about? Just some nut job. Don't tell Mum. Not today. You go ahead, Gabs. Tell Mum and Uncle Ray for coming. Okay. He told me Dad was killed. What? He said I would be too. No way, dude. Boys. He knew my name. How about I order pizza? That'd be great, Rose. Can I have a Hawaiian? Sure, sweetheart. Anything you want. Oh, no. What's wrong? We've been burgled. I'll call the police. I'll check the other rooms. Hello. Yes, yes, we've had a break in. I'm so sorry, Emily. Today of all days. Police are coming. What's missing? Is that Tom's? He must have sent it back from Ireland. I never opened it. I couldn't. You okay, Mum? Is there anything missing in here? What's this? It must have been a present from Dad. He never mentioned it. He probably meant it as a surprise. Come on, we can clean this up later. I'll make us a cup of tea. They've been through here as well. It always looks like this. What's that? It was in Dad's suitcase. G and K. What does that mean? Really sorry he's gone, dude. He he was an amazing guy. I'm gonna miss him as well. Dear Cal, I've discovered something about our family. It's an old mystery with some very complicated clues. I'm still working on it, Cal, but I'm close, really close. You know the saying about the pot of gold at the end of the rainbow? If I'm right, that pot is real and it's ours. But it's more than that too. What did you mean, Dad? Yeah, yeah.
yeah, I'm coming. Give me a chance. I only just got in. In the hospice, that'll be for me. Gabby said it's for me. It's probably the last of your dad's bills. It's addressed to me. I'm sure it's a mistake. Because the spelling of Callum and Wraith is so similar. Cal. Emily, it's okay. No, it's not okay. Since Dad died, you're around here all the time. and Dad never wanted you here. Cal. I don't like you. Gabby doesn't like you and Mum doesn't like Cal, you. Cal, stop it. Cal, settle down. You might look like my father, but you're definitely not him. That envelope was addressed to me. It's from Dad, I want it. It's great. Dude, you just missed him. You're not gonna catch your uncle now. Good. I won. Get out now. Close call, dude. Did you find the envelope? <laughs> no, but I got this. Want to go fire a few rounds? Put it away. He'll go ballistic when he finds out. Yeah, I know. Come on, pull up, pull up. That's it. Nice. Can I have a go? Sorry, can you squeak out only? Hey! Alright, that's it. No! No! <laughs> Kids, dinner. You set the table, please? You're going. Mum, what's the almond singularity? Darling, I don't really know too much about it. So, Dad never said anything about it being dangerous? Well, it's just an old family legend. Why do you want to know? There was this guy at the funeral. What guy? I don't know, some crazy... He said something... What? Hello? I've got the police report for the insurance claim. Thanks, babe. Just a phone call. Strangest thing, though. I got burgled today. Oh, Rafe, that's terrible. It's quite a coincidence, wouldn't you say? Well, would you like to stay for dinner? There's plenty. Oh, that'd be lovely. If Cal doesn't mind. Hello? Cal, uh, this 
This is Jennifer Smith. I nursed your dad in the hospice. Oh, yeah. Hi, Jennifer. Did you get the drawings? What drawings? Tom's drawings. I mailed them to you. Your father really wanted you to have them. Uh, yeah. Yeah, I just haven't had a chance to look at them yet. I, I found something else. Uh, a memory stick. You know, for a computer. I'll post it to you. No, that's OK. I'll save you the trouble. I'll come round now. Oh, I'm meeting a friend in the city. I could see you in Liberty Park near the footbridge, say, 8 o'clock. OK, that'd be great. I'm, uh... I'm going out. Cal, we're just about to eat. It's OK, race here. You don't need me. Cal, where are you going? Is he awake under that bag? Yep. Made enough noise in the car. Good evening, Callum. Where am I? Who are you? Never mind that. Tell me about the Orman singularity. It's just some family thing. I can't tell you anything about it. Hmm. Can't? Or won't? I don't know anything. Please let me go. Be quiet, Callum. Possibly I can let you go when you give me something. You are going to give me something, aren't you? But I can't. Look, who are you? Who am I? Someone you don't want as an enemy. Now, as you know, your father was in Ireland looking for the singularity. Was he? Please don't contradict what I already know. Well, how was I supposed to know that? Surely your father must have said something about what he was doing there. No, he couldn't. He, he was sick. He couldn't speak. And then he died? Yes. Oh, Callum, I hope that's the truth. It is. You're not going to help yourself by lying. I'm not lying. Then you're not much use. No, wait. Yes? Dad sent me a postcard. Go on. He just said he found out something about the family history. Exactly. The singularity, in fact. No, he didn't say that. Did he mention the jewel or the riddle? That's it, I swear. Will you let me go now? I won't tell anyone. He's all yours. Hey, what are you doing? Ah, what? What are you... Uh...
good thing the boy can climb. Kid probably thinks he's Houdini. This idea of yours better work. Don't worry. It'll work. Do you know what time it is? Gabby. Shh. Wake, Mum, and you'll really be in trouble. Where have you been? Good question. Who do you think it was? Beats me. Couldn't see their faces. What did they want? I don't know, but this woman kept on asking me about this thing called the woman singularity. What's that? I don't know. Wear this for protection. But Dad gave you this. I think he'd want you to have it. Thanks, Gabs. Hey, go back to bed now. And don't tell Mum about this, okay? Leave it to me. Come on, Pips Queen. I'll give you a lift. Mom? Mom, I'm sorry. What is it? Your dad emptied the mortgage account. It must have been when he was in Ireland. There's nothing left. Nothing. But he wrote to me. He said he discovered a family secret, something about a pot of gold. I can't Hell, there's nothing. <laughs> okay, so this lady, what did she want? I don't know. She, she asked me about a jewel and a riddle. She knew Dad was in Ireland. Well, maybe she was there with him. Where did they grab you from? Off the street. I was on the way to meet Jennifer Smith. She had something of Dad's to give me. Who's Jennifer Smith? She nursed Dad at the hospice. You met her. Okay, well, what if she set it up? No, oh, but she liked that. Why would she do that? Well, you just said so yourself, dude. Your dad is the key to this whole thing, okay? You gotta go to the police. Why, well, and tell them what? And this morning, I went to tell Mum about it, and we just got a letter from the bank saying that we're broke. Dad spent all of our money in Ireland. On what? We don't know. Is there anything I can do? Like what? I don't know, but if you need anything, just ask me, okay? What did you do with that gun? I hid it in the back of my wardrobe. That's right. Bryce, hi. I'm at your house, Cal, and your mother's not here. I was hoping we could discuss our problem. Does our problem include my envelope? Yes, I'm sorry about that. You were right. It was meant for you. I've got something you want, and you've got something I want. We'll do a trade. I'll see you in 10. Rafe wants to do a deal. See you later. Abby? 
ambulance. At 24 Flood Street, Richmond. Look, you've got to hurry. My uncle's been shot and my sister's unconscious. Yeah, hurry. Mum? No. Mum? That's him! Nothing. You kind of got too far. Go. He's gone, Yuri. Let's go. Rafer hurt. We're in the ambulance. Please call me Cal. Please. Folks? Cal. Cal, where are you? Your mum rang me looking for you. There's police outside your house. Someone's hurt Gabby and Rafe. Yeah, I know. I'm at the school. Why? I think there were these two guys in the house. They chased me. How's Gabby? She's gone to the hospital with Rafe. Which one? St. Anne's. Are they all right? I think he's okay, but it's Gabby. Dude, this is gonna sound crazy, but I got a really strong vibe they think you did it. What? There's people that saw you running away from the house with blood all down your shirt. Yeah. And when they were loading Gabby into the ambulance, she shouted something like, no, don't, Cal, no. I know what you're thinking. A couple of clowns. You look pretty as a picture princess. Thanks, B. Will you be warm enough? I'll be fine. Now, after the ballet, you and I will sneak backstage, meet a couple of the dancers. Then we need to talk to a couple of members of the board. I know, but they are dying to meet you. Sure, I'll make sure to try my best to stay awake. Right, gentlemen, inside. Oh, now you mind these tickets. Go and get a coat. This won't take long. It's just boring work stuff. You know why'd you have to shoot the guy? He just came out of the bathroom. He never saw us, but he could have. Yuri had the gun. Bang. Where's the gun now? Left it where it was, on the table. And you're wearing gloves? And the little girl? She was in the way. I mean, you're geniuses. 
Now, the cops are going to be all over that family and you come back here with nothing. No, no. We got this. It's from the kid's father. Talks about a pot of gold. Yep. Yeah, pot of gold. You see, I already knew all of that. Let me explain this again. I send you over there the first time to get this. Yeah, no, it's nice. It's valuable. But it's useless without the riddle. They're like a set, see? So what's the riddle look like? I don't know. I still don't get it. You don't need to get it. You just need to do what you're told. You've lost the boy. Go find him. I belong to a sporting shooters club. Why was your weapon outside its lockbox? It wasn't. Then can you explain, Mr. Romney? Cal must have found the key. Were you present in your house at the time? No, look, he broke in. I'd mistakenly taken an envelope that belonged to him. He was... For heaven's sake, McGrath, my brother, his father, died two weeks ago. Yeah, but are you saying that Callum stole your gun? Stole, borrowed, I knew he had it. I searched his room and I found it. And I called him to talk about it. Did you mention it to his mother? I probably should have, but I didn't want to upset her anymore. But it can't have been Cal that shot me. There has to be some other explanation. So you didn't actually see who shot you? No. All right, Mr. Ormond. We'll need a formal statement at some stage. Thank you. What do you think, boss? Oh, it's a classic case. Spoiled teenager gone off the rails. Might last 24 hours without his computer and his mummy. We need to operate immediately. Get the pressure off her brain. Boss? Mum, she's going to be OK. Cal, where have you been? Oh, I was hiding, Mum. I had to hide this. Just put on your shirt. Please tell me what's happening. Race, bud. Well, I ain't got a horn there. There's two. There's these two guys. Come on, Mormon. We need to talk. <laughs> Callum. Police, stop. Well, he ran, Tina. What does that tell you? You're right. Mum thinks it could have shot right. It'll be okay, dude. I mean, as soon as Gabby comes out of it, she's gonna tell him what happened. What if she doesn't? Don't say that. So who were those guys? I don't know, they had masks on, but I reckon they were the same guys that burgled the house the day of the funeral. Why would they come back, Cal? Maybe he's got something to do with these. Brave had them at our house. Dad drew them when he got sick. The virus did something to his brain. He, he couldn't speak anymore. I remember. So he drew these. Dad wanted me to have them, so they must have something to do with all this. Well, no offence, dude, but they don't really make any sense to me. <sighs> me neither. You remember that crazy guy at the funeral? He said that this singularity thing, whatever it is, that was going to kill me. Looks like it started. But why would anyone want to kill you? Do you want to crash at my place tonight? Oh, I don't want to get you and your mum in trouble. So where? I don't know. I've got an idea. But it'll take a while to get there. Come on. Damn, that sucks. Well, look on the bright side. No chores. This will be. We'd be slipping under a bridge, right? We're in a prison cell. Yeah. It's yours. Could be worse. Could be a drainage pipe. 
few days you'll be back home complaining about how bad things are there. Okay, so we're going up in this elevator, we're just like flying up, it's like, wow! And we get to the top of this building, we get out of the elevator, and you look out, and cow, cow, put it away. Well, I'm just trying to get evidence that sometimes you're actually here, Dad. Yeah, <laughs> Tell me about the Ormond the singularity. singularity. You know the saying about the pot of gold at the end of the He'll rain. He'll kill you like he killed your father. You're not helping yourself by lying. December 31st, 365 days. Stay alive until then and you're safe. She's in what they call an induced coma. The neurosurgeon says it helps her heal. Gabby's tough, Mrs. O. She'll come through this. Have you heard from Cal? Come on, Bogues, this is me. I haven't, Mrs. O. Sorry. Well, if you do, can you tell him to answer my calls? I just want to know he's safe. What are you mean? What are you trying to say, Dad? an old mystery with some very complicated clues you know the saying about the pot of gold at the end of the rainbow if I'm right that pot is real and it's ours about to call you. Do you want a beer? Splash your money around, Kelvin. Where's mine? Ain't you coming? Yeah, it looks like a trip to the hospital for you then, eh? Give me a break, will ya? You know how it is. You, you win some, you lose some. Ah, oh, Kelvin, so you lose some, then you lose some more. I've been waiting a month already. End of the week. Five grand? I don't think so. Just wait, wait, right? My sister's about to cash in big time. We're tracking the psycho kid. She reckons he's about to lead us to a big pile of money. What do you mean, tracking? Why are you so interested? Never mind. You know where he is. You tell me. Well, if I was to do that, how about a discount on what I owe you? Well, maybe. Give. All right. Not this minute. I'll call you. I'll make sure you do. Tomorrow. Who's up for a game? Come on. Double or nothing. Oh, good. You'll never guess what. Hey, try me. 
A loyal woman, Oriana de la Force. <laughs> Do I? We grew up in the same bad neighborhood. She was a nasty little thing, even back then. Oh, yeah. What about her? Well, a loser brother owes me money, yeah? Kelvin. That's the one. Waste the space! Huh? You'll never see that money again. Oh. oh, I got something much better. You're gonna love this. Kelvin is tracking the Orman kid for his sister. If Oriana is tracking the kid, that means she's after the singularity. Same as me. No, this is bad. No, 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 relax, Vulcan. Kelvin will tell me where the kid is, or I'll break his face open. Or the more eyes looking for the kid could be good for us if we keep control. You keep Kelvin close. You got it. It's a fight. Black Cube pool hall. Yeah, you better hurry. Cops are on their way. Oh, cops! Get out of here! Yeah, I'm still here. You alright? Thanks, buddy. Cops on the way then? Oh, I didn't actually call them. <laughs> That's cool. What's wrong? Do with a hand. Okay. I owe you. Ice and Jack 21. Blackjack. So I need to find a way to call Blackjack. Is that what you mean, Dad? Hey, Bugs, you think you could whistle or something next time? Yeah, sorry. How's Gabby? Sorry, dude, there's no change. So what do I do now? I don't know. I need to get that postcard. You know, the one Dad gave me from Ireland. And the transparency thing with the G and the K. What? If you want to get any stuff from your house, you better do it fast. so well. One room to go. Help me get those boxes out of the garage. longer, is it? Please, Cal. I'm so glad you're safe. Where have you been? Everything's gonna be okay. Believe me. 
You don't think I did those things? Uncle Rafe, Gabby? No. But you ran away, Cal. What about Rafe's gun? He took my envelope, Mum. Stuff from Dad. You were so angry with Rafe. It was like you hated him. What, so I shot him? Mum, the guys who shot Rafe and hurt Gabby, they're probably the same guys who broke into the house. The same guys who kidnapped me. Kidnapped? Oh, please, Cal. It's true. They, they took me to this house and, and there was this woman. And she asked me all these questions about the jewel and, and a riddle, the singularity thing. Oh, I see. And then what? I escaped. <sighs> Cal, can you hear yourself? It's true, Mum. Why can't you believe me? Just come home. Tell all this to the police. I can't. The stuff I have to do. For Dad. He's dead, Cal. Cal, please come home. Hi. How's your arm? Good. She should be upstairs. Emily! I love you, Mum. Why can't you believe me? I'll take a step back, dude, and think. It's a pretty crazy story. Yeah, but you believe me. I'm here, aren't I? Only because you got no other friends. It's not funny. But the way I see it, you got a choice, dude, okay? Give up now or go on. He's been hanging out in a factory in Peel Street. I don't know, hanging out. Anyway, he's been out and he's coming back. Corner of Francis and Roberts. So listen, that's worth five grand, right? We're square, aren't we? Bruno? Singularity. Look, I don't know anything about it. But maybe you should ask the woman with the red shoes. Or the guy in the cowboy boots. Let's not worry about them. Look, I don't know what the singularity is, I told you. Oh, come on. You can do so much better than that. Please, all, all I know is that it's got something to do with my family's history. Your old man sent you this postcard. Now, in it, there's stuff about clues, pot of gold. You took that from my house? Yeah, sorry. But there's nothing in here about a riddle. Now, I'd ask your old man, but I read it in the paper that he passed away recently. Sad. Miss him, do you? What do you reckon? And even as he lay there dying, he didn't say anything to his only boy. He couldn't. Too bad. You're wasting your time. I don't think you're grasping the gravity of the situation here, Callum. He wants to hurt you very badly. But I can stop him. But only if you give me the information I need. Please. I've told you everything I know. I don't know anything else. He doesn't know anything. Maybe it's just a memory thing. Maybe. He just needs time to think. I know you all. Help! Keep him out! Go and help! Shut him up. 
Wait, 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 wait. Have you remembered something? I've told you everything I know, I swear. Please, please. Have a nice swim, kid. <laughs> You had enough, kid? Yes! Good. Ready to talk? Oh, don't do everything I know! Coffee, Yuri. Please help me! Oh!